Hey guys, it's SoSimly here. Welcome back to my channel. I don't think I actually say that in my intros. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, today we are building a little, a little weird home. I don't know what to call it. I've called it the Studly as like just a save file at the moment because it's quite masculine and it's also base game too. I had a lot of challenge with this because I don't usually just only play with base game. But it's a trend I've been seeing around lately and I thought, mm, why not? I'll give it a go. At the start, I was trying to build a, um, a container home and it kind of didn't really fit in in the end. It just turned into something like this and I actually prefer it. Uh, sometimes when I do build, I imagine something and then the next thing I know, it's completely something else. Stupid wires. Uh, so yeah, this is quite masculine. My video that you'll be seeing on Monday, I will, yeah, the, this past Monday, that was more feminine, a lot feminine actually, and I wanted to balance it out, make it a little bit, a little bit more fair. So I came up with this and I really enjoyed it. It was something different and it's quite minimal actually. Um, I imagine a guy wouldn't really care what he had in his house to me, this is like his first house. He's just moved in. He's got a very eccentric housemate, and because it is a two-bedroom home, and it's just, yeah, it's just very minimal. But it has everything. He has, he has a really nice kitchen. I love the kitchen in this house, and he's just like a really casual dining area, a lounge. Just it's very low key, but very. I don't know, it's just very, very, very manly. Uh, I suppose a girl could live here, but it's more more base, uh, more towards the, the guy kind of side. Um, I sort of imagine if the guy got a girlfriend, she'd put her own stamp on it, you know? I had also, I had a lot of, um, what's the word, trouble uploading this video, or editing this video. I went to put it into my editor and I don't know I don't know if it was the screen recorder itself but everything was blurry everything was fuzzy so if this video seems a little bit snippy I do apologize because I had to cut out a lot and what I mean by a lot is just like some of the wallpaper you didn't get to see but I mean it's not a big deal but I didn't like it when I was editing, but it's turned out good. I didn't have to edit out as much as I thought I would, but I I had to in the end. So anyway, this is the nice kitchen. I've never used this kitchen before. I don't know why, but it's really really cool. I like it. I think it's just so funky and just really cool. I'm using cool a lot because it's I don't know what else to say. <laughs> also, excuse the background music. Uh, music, background noise. It is quite early, it's 8.30 in the morning Western Australia time, and as you can tell, my dog is barking. She's just woken up from her slumber and she's playing with the cats, so it's all on this morning, and you can probably tell by my voice that I sort of sound a bit sleepy, because I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. I wanted to get my Modern Loft video out quite early, just so I... I, I, I had it out and, and I can plan ahead even more because this month's quite busy for me. I have my dad's birthday and I also have like a little camping trip um, up north that my family and I are doing. We're helping out a friend with her food, food truck. So that's going to be really, really fun. Um, I think maybe, uh, maybe I'll help out, help out as well. It's mostly my mum and her, her friend, but... Um, it's going to be great because we haven't really had a family holiday in ages and I'm really gearing up for it. Like, I just, I'm so happy to go camping. Nala. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. So I really want to get my videos planned in advance. Uh, also, my dog's going into a kennel and the cats are getting babysat at, at the home as well. Uh, so it's been a lot for me this month, which is quite good I'm excited because I feel like I've been so boring the last six years I'll be living in this country <laughs> uh, so yeah it's gonna be 
it's going to be great. Uh, I'm a bit worried about the snakes and the spiders, but I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of raid and, you know, bug spray and all that kind of jazz. So, as you can see, we've just done the dining area and a bit of the lounge. Uh, just some knickknacks lying around. I'm using a lot of stuff that I haven't really taken notice of before, since there's so much knickknacks and clutter in The Sims now, which is great. But, yeah, some stuff you just seem, eh, okay, yeah, you're there, but I think the other thing's better, sort of, you know what I mean? Uh, I've been really liking adding clocks into my houses at the moment, all my speed builds. I think it just, I don't know, a clock is a home, you know? Like, yes, you, you what's the time? You look at the clock for the uh, on the wall. So it's just, it's sort of a little realistic kind of thing to add. Um, I notice in base game that there's not many great wall hangings like the, like the photos and the pictures there's just nothing so, ugh, this is gonna be really hard I did have some trouble I'm not gonna lie I did have some trouble but it was a good challenge enough for me to think I can play the sims without all the other packs and game packs and stuff like that but it's nice to have other stuff as well I love me some clutter and I've just started collecting all the sim games now. I think I have all of them apart from Vampires and the My First Pet Stuff Pack. Hello Maggie, you're gracing us again. Uh, I'm not really into Vampires and My First stuff, my first Pet whatever. It's just... Ugh, that should have been all included in, the, in, the, in Cats and Dogs. Then again, we should have had more more pets in general because I feel like just cats and dogs isn't enough like Sims 3 pets was amazing I loved how we got horses we got bunnies do we get bunnies oh no we got horses we got birds we got, we got all sorts of things in Sims 3 pets and I'm kind of pissed that we only got cats and dogs like yeah sure they're great but like I don't just want a cat and a dog I have a cat and a dog in real life what if I wanted a lizard or something <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, shoot, Maggie nearly smashed my bottle. You can't have that, doll. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else can I talk about? What are you guys up to? I know I've only got, what, 18, 18 subscribers, but that that's quite a lot for me. I've never had, had that many subscribers, I don't think. I've had YouTube channels before. I've tried makeup. I've tried other things, and... My heart hasn't been in, in that kind of place. Like, my passion isn't makeup. Sure, I loved heavy makeup. But I don't wear makeup every day now. I kind of just roll out of bed, wash my face with water, and that's, that's it. And I find with it, without not wearing makeup, my acne is just sort of gone down, and it's great. So, yeah, I did makeup, but, um... Never got much views, but that's okay, because I kind of like to make in the video part aspect of it. So, yeah. But hello, 18 subscribers. How are you? How are you? I quite like your company. It's very nice. So this is the top floor, the second story. And because I had problems with just really bad laggy and blurriness, I did cut out that first bedroom there. You will see snippets of it, and of course you'll see the screenshots as well, but yeah, I do apologise. Now these rooms are quite, I don't know, very plain. I got the blue room, uh, that's the more eccentric kind of artsy kind of vibe I was going for, and then like the green one is sort of very clean, very basic, like the guy just slapped his bed, his dresser, a baseball bat in case someone came and robbed them. Which I kind of miss because I miss robbers from um, The Sims 3. But yeah, the baseball bat because yeah, he's scared of intruders and he's just rearing to go if something kind of happens. <laughs> and uh, the the other guy, I'm thinking he's more artsy, he's more flamboyant. And I had a lot of fun with his character because I felt like I could put a lot more stuff in his room. Um these char characters just come to my mind when I start building and getting into this into the speed builds, and it's like, huh? Now this character is going to be really good. I I want to make them in this in the cast, but um, I never get around to doing it. But yeah, 
it was just really fun to do. This area does change in the screenshots because as I as I was doing gameplay, like I've started doing with every house now, because I want to make sure you guys, if you do download it on the gallery, it's going to be playable for you guys. So um, this whole shelving system goes, because I played with my walls down and I noticed it was like, all, all the books and the photos and the boat, they were all floating, and I don't like that, I don't like things being floating just, just there, you know, so that changes, I think, what do I put, I think, do I put artwork there, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember, Ooh, pardon me, I burped, it wouldn't be a video without a burp, and I also put a computer and a desk where the two bookcases are, Simply because I thought, we don't need two bookcases. They look cool, but yeah, we don't need them. So I got rid of one, and I put a, a desk and a computer there, um, just just for the sake of having something there. And, uh, yeah, so I think we're nearing the end soon, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, go check out my other videos. I've got some awesome videos already on my channel. Uh, but there's some really good ones coming out uh, in the next couple of weeks, which I need to pre-film. I've got the ideas in my head that are just rearing to go, and yeah, I hope you do like them. I hope you like the, mo the Modern Loft too, because as, as I'm editing this video, the Modern Loft should have gone live, and um, I really loved making that. That was such a fun build. I say that about all my builds mostly, but yeah. That was so good. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good week. I'll see you guys on Thursday with this video. Or, no, I'll see you guys on Monday with my next video, which I hope we're in case. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.